Hello and welcome to another Johnson Aviation Maintenance Moment. Today we are going to install the Selkirk Extended Baggage in the Cessna 180 aircraft. It's one of many projects we will be doing on this airplane, all while we wait for the engine to arrive later in August. So we've purchased the uh, Extended Baggage from Selkirk. There also is an air glass option. Both products are very good. You just need to decide which one is best for you. We have our STC and our installation instructions. You can see that the floor itself is very straightforward. It's basically just a couple of screws with nut plates. And then you screw to this back bulkhead as well before you put the back cover on. So it's a very straightforward installation. Let's go take a quick look inside the airplane. We have our surplus military ramp, which makes it easy to get up into and out of the airplane while we are doing this work. And you will see here's where the baggage compartment or the extended baggage will go. We've already made the preparations by taking the old covering off and getting ready to put the floor in. So the first step will be to fit the floor, put the nut plates on basically here and here, and then eventually we will screw through back there and there to support the floor, making sure we maintain a quarter of an inch from those cables. Okay, we got the first step of the baggage install process completed, the uh, floor shell. You'll see that we have mounting screws here and here. We've put nut plates on the back side to make them easy to remove. Also back in the back corner, you'll see on each side, that side and that side, there are two screws that go through with nuts on the back side and large fender washers on the back side as well. So the uh, floor installation is very straightforward, very easy. Originally, when you first take it apart, there are some aluminum pieces on the side here you take off. But other than that, uh, you take out the existing interior and put this in. Again, this is the, uh, the Selkirk floor. The next step now is to put the rear baggage wall on that bulkhead and it simply goes on with some sheet metal screws. So I'll do that next and give you an update. We have completed the Selkirk extended baggage installation. You can see the rear panel. We installed sheet metal screws to hold it in place. The entire installation was very easy, um, fit very well. We did have to trim the, the corners of the rear uh, panel slightly, but other than that, it fit, uh, fit very well. So there it is. Now we're going to finish up the aluminum by putting some quarter inch black foam to give it a more finished look. But uh, it looks like a good product. It'll be interesting to see over time whether the floor sags at all due to the heat and weight. It does have reinforcement on the bottom of the floor, so hopefully it won't. But uh, I'll report back in a year or two and let you know how well it performed.